and let's begin. So we do have Ace of Swords and we do have the Seven of Pentacles. So we are very patient about a new beginning. I'm sure that is something that crosses your mind, right? This is a new vision. This is, um, I want something. You know what? I finally see clearly something and I'm willing to wait, right? I'm in no rush. So um, this is the energy that I'm, um, that I'm picking up here. You know, and we know harvest is coming. We know with um, enough patience, we're going to have what we want. Uh, but still, right? Ace of Swords and the Fool. Absolutely longing for a new beginning here. We, we want something as bad as possible, right? This is, I want my, I want my new adventure, right? The Fool, it has something of... Um, of a childlike energy and it has it has something with oh do the hell with whatever i worked for i'm ready for new and excitement and now we do have the two of cups ace of swords with the two of cups communication of love new beginnings in love clarity that we love somebody and we have strong powerful emotions and also a soulmate bond right Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, and we want to fight for this, and we want to do something about it, and we want to protect this love that we want to have, right? We want to be the protector, well, we want to be the lover, we want to be standing our ground for this. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, Five of Swords, Ace of Wands. It is a reconciliation on your mind. I could have an Eight of Wands, okay. I love this energy and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to, oh, are you kidding me? And the Ace of Cups, oh, Sagittarius and the King of Cups. I know we have the Seven of Swords. If it comes back again, we know it. it's yours. But isn't it beautiful, simply amazing? I'm gonna show you. We do have Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. We are attracted um, physically by somebody and the Ace of Cups is like, yeah, but I'm going to give a cup with it, you know? A cup of love which is um, emotions it does look like a new beginning and yet you have the three of cups as it is a reconciliation of some sort strong mature emotions that you have cupid's arrows and passionate communication ten of pentacles love and stability and uh, easy breezy kind of energy five of swords but it comes with you fighting for it right that's the Five of Swords. You're standing your ground. You're fighting for this. You're making sure that you will have and your cup full and your um, stability, right? Um, in check. Does look like new beginnings, I would say, honestly. Does look like new beginnings here. Happy new beginnings. And Eight of Wands is also an, an energy very essential. Ace of Wands too, so... Somebody is going to be playful in July. So, we do have past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. It can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We do have the King of Cups, but it can speak of a connection that matures, right? Through friendship for some of you. Friends becoming lovers, so. And it feels like a new beginning, but in the same time, because we know them, it feels like um, going back home, right? We'll see. We know when people feel like home. Two of Swords. And yet you are in your two minds, Sagittarius. And yet we are contemplating. We don't know exactly, right? So let's see. Well, <laughs> isn't it interesting, Sagittarius? Again, speaking of two minds, right? In the past, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius can be your energy, you might have these um, signs in your chart, but because we saw the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords, I believe that you had moment where go, no, go, a little bit like the, the project management, right? <laughs> go, no, go, go, no, go, um, kind of decisions at every phase and um, cycles of the project. So, But the point is, the point is, uh, probably you had moments where um, in your mind it was, I am going to go slow and very sweet and very soft. And then we had moments of, but I have this explosion of, um, of passion and sensuality and emotions. And, and um, you know, we have all these sensual energies. So it felt like I am going to run down there and God forbid how he or she will be like run down by a train. They will feel, I'm, I'm kidding, but you get my point, you know. 
when it's way too much passion and it's like boom um and being into minds about again right this is really questioning a little bit i'm gonna you know start by being friends and i'm gonna have a method to it and i'm gonna have a discipline to it and knight of swords is the hell you know this is what i feel like doing a little bit of impulsive energy now this person of yours um such as they had the um they came to the table right to the connection with the page of cups energy this is um wanting to explore their emotions being open actually to this connection and six of wands maybe a little bit of pride i would say or a little bit of ego in some way um you know too proud to acknowledge these emotions or um you know these these feelings and but in the same time, uh, right, this is also the energy of the prized possession. This is like, well, my Sagis, they, they were very proud of, um, you know, of having you. And then the silent treatment, right? And then the silent treatment, Sagis, what happened? Two of Wands, Crossroads, Four of Swords, silent treatment. Um, ghosting, not talking to each other. Um, you know, this is the energy of we should make a choice and yet I decide... I've decided I'm going to rest and rejuvenate a bit, right? Um, again, two different energies, the wands and the swords, right? So um, I, 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 I do believe that it feels like two completely different energies, right? Um, meeting in time, um, you know, in, on different um, timelines, even if it's in the same time, but coming with different um, energies of timing and divine timing and approach also. So, um, <laughs> anyways, so where are we right now? Oh my God, magical time, right? We want a little bit of magic, Sagittarius. We do have the magician. This is the energy of manifestation and the ace of swords. Now we know. Now we are elaborating a plan, right? Now we are thinking about and we want a little bit of magic. Even if it's, it has a touch of um, rationality to it, Ace of Swords, even if I have to work and plan and strategize, I want my magical moment to happen. And, um, and it has so... Uh, when we look at the overall energy, right? Whoever you are dealing with, that is something that is very sweet and soft about them with the cups and, and um, that is something very um, sensual. Uh, and yet very friendly. So I believe your mind might be with the magician, right? The, uh, the Your mind and the Ace of Swords is kind of um, captivated by it, you know? And it feels where you are right now. It feels like magic. It feels like action. It feels like flow. It feels like clarity, you know? This is, this is who I want. Oh, and look at it. Um, such that is this person of yours and it's so in line with the whole reading. They have a cup for you. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to approach you with a cup of love and we also have them in the Two of Swords energy. They are contemplating right now. Uh, this is the energy of thinking. This is the energy of, well, let me understand something before I give this cup of honest love, right? With the Ace of Cups and uh, Two of Swords, they might be also confined in an... Um, restricted two of swords is a very restricted um and restrictive energy in the same time wow you have ace of swords they have ace of cups clearly in in regards to this you are using your brains and your best interest right that's ace of swords it's like i'm so clear about and i'm going to be strategic and i have ideas and it's calculated while this person is such as I do have a cup of love. This is what I have. I'm kind of conflicted. Um, I, I, I don't know, right? I, I, I don't see the full picture, but I know I love you, right? That's the energy. And again, the energy of pride. Right in the middle of the, of, of the reading, we do have the strength. This is Leo energy and the six of wands. Um, one is energy of lust, right? And one is energy of pride. So probably both of you are... I mean, highly um, attracted to each other, right? We know the strength is the energy of taming ourselves because people are watching. We have to be on our best behavior. It's not that we can uh, PDA all the time, right? So it's kind of an energy of um, of um, really people holding back a little bit because there are norms and ways of doing things. And then we have the six of wands. We want victory. 
it it is wanting this you probably want this and they want this with their whole um heart right um can be a leo by the way pisces you have the energy of taurus virgo capricorn you have all the energies um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have water sign, you have all the signs actually. So far, I know you have Leo. Um, and wanting this, and wanting, like, guys, you know, both of you. It's like if I have to go to the war for this, well, let, watch me, I'll go, you know? <laughs> six of Wands, because you, Six of Wands is the energy of I have to fight for something, and boy, the victory will be sweet, you know? That's the energy I'm picking up. So, I believe we are there and with the magician on your side it's like let me make some magic a little bit let me pull a couple of sweet tricks you know <laughs> well that's kind of and and it's, it's it's a beautiful energy you know because we have cups so there is a lot of um a lot of emotions and and it's a very sensitive and soft energy the cups right so i believe um such is that this person might make you soft in a way or you make them soft that is something about softness and love that is um happening now moving forward we long for this person i know such is coming your way six of cups um the energy of soulmates and the ten of wands that is something burdening about this um connection it is magic and yet it is maybe hard to get right ten of wands is the energy of um hard to get is the energy of effort um it is the energy of um um you know taking extra steps in order to achieve this right the soulmate energy the connection and this person goes boom 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 they have an explosive offer for you um it's you know how it feels such serious it's like um you kind of um shook their world that's how it feels or so whatever you have for them we do have knight of pentacles again knight of pentacles you might be friends with this person whatever offer it is given to them makes them um go i don't say ballistic but you get my point right um it is the energy of surprise it is the energy of passion when it's combined with offerings right it, it is all of the above but also it has a it has a touch of their whole world is upside down because of this offer because of this love because of um you know them fighting for this and the emotions that they've um, developed mutual energies between the two of you Sagittarius one of waiting and one of emotional detachment somebody here might have to detach emotionally from a situation waiting to detach emotionally from a situation and also waiting for ships to come home right kind of the universe saying well maybe the second week of july is not the right time absolutely passion here absolutely vision that this connection can uh, lead towards something beautiful but it is still not the time just yet and the emotional detachment that has to happen we might be in a place, in an environment that we need to, um, you know, hear the calling of, of walking away. But there is no doubt, there is no doubt that this connection has the potential for stability, uh, mature emotions, and yet feel like, uh, um, um, how, how should I put it? I don't want to say fresh, but kind of something new and exciting. And Ace of Wands, it is an exciting energy. So but the time right and we are all confined and we are all still in social isolation um i like to call it physical distance because social isolation i don't like how it's called that it's actually uh right one of the symptoms of the depression so i don't know who came out with the term but anyways it's not a good one so let's ask for some guidance such that is let's let's see what this is going on what what's happening here so such that is do something for someone give your attention to another so if you receive a new offer of love guess what you are guided towards that new offer of love and you have something already going i don't know do something for someone give your attention to another we also have slow down where we sure have ten of wands and the knight of swords so slow down 
pause and allow things to unfold okay and let's have another one love is all around you Sagittarius that is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth so do something for someone give your attention to another slow down and just be in the know that you are surrounded by love now let's have some romance angels and then we go to the energies uh, to bring back into the flow so we do have such stories express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture we do have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together honestly this feels like a new love um right we know honeymoon comes after after a mayor after um you know getting married to somebody and we do have reconciliation and yet we've known this person so we have to something for someone it's quite it kind of speaks of your energy of being into minds or this person being into minds about we have to we have give your attention to another slow down and know that you are surrounded by love and we have expressed your love honeymoon which is new love and yet we have reconciliation and bottom of the deck is new love for some of you might be a reconciliation that felt feels like new love or simply a new love and um, that we um, you know that feels like home and like we've already known this person and now let's have some energies we need to get back into the flow we do have surrender to what is Sagittarius flow flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace we do have balance and this is so your energy temperance right so i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment so this is what these are the energies we get back we need to get back right uh, balance we might feel a little bit out of balance right now and uh, running places surrender to what is balance and self-love oh you realize that love of self is necessary to love another so you forgot to love yourself um such is in the process and we have love self-love and love i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and you do have the magician and now you have surrendered to miracles so be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen wow isn't it interesting we are so manifesting new love and so manifesting new passion and expressing love and having conversations eight of wands is cupid arrows and quite sexy messages and and then you have expressed your love so i feel you are guided to give a chance to a new love of, of some sort but you have some homework right we have to um practice a little bit of self-love of balance letting go love and miracles that's a beautiful reading this is a beautiful reading about a new love right and soulmate six of cups um so hey Sagittarius this is all that I have for you guys you know I love you I wish you nothing but the best I wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care